Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige and guess what? We're making fudge today. I'm super, super excited about this because I haven't made fudge in like 10 years and I love chocolate. <laughs> so I'm very excited about it. However, first we can go ahead and address the uh, sister in the room. Yes, James Charles sisters merch. I'm very excited about this. So here's the thing. I have never felt older than when I'm almost 30 years old buying sisters apparel. And not only did I purchase it, I also purchased sweatpants. I'm not wearing them right now but I did purchase them. And they're from a limited edition collection. So me, almost 30 years old, waiting for the relaunch, which was a limited edition relaunch. And I was so excited, like giddy school girl on the bus, getting ready to kiss her crush kind of situation, waiting for these to sister ship and then get to my door. So I'm very excited. The quality is so nice. Like I'm gonna just spill a little tea. I'm not gonna talk about who the other influencer is, but I purchased from two different influencers, um, James Charles, obviously, and then another one. And um, can we just talk about the difference in quality like make sure you purchase from an influencer that actually gives a shit about whatever they're selling because this is such a nice quality hoodie I think it might be champion I know the sweatpants had like the little champion C on them those are so nice this is really nice the other one that I ordered from the other influencer girl I've had it for like two weeks I haven't touched it because it feels like I'm wearing um an old wash rag that's like been washed and used since 1992 so I'm not interested you know what I mean so get yourself an influencer that prides themselves on quality because girl this is so cute so cozy I'm obsessed and I also went with like the slightly demure print because I'm like hello we're all like a little demure sister yes anyways okay it's time to get to making some food my makeup is all day old so I'm looking so cute and I wanted to make something I haven't made in a while and that is fudge I have not made chocolate fudge in like 10 years I think I said that already and I'm just really excited to get into this now I was sitting here and I know the one thing whenever you make fudge especially is that it's like a really quick like you have to have everything ready to go it takes like six minutes blah, blah, blah. it's supposed to be quick and easy whatever and I'm like okay I feel like I'm talking really fast but I'm also really hyper so I was just dancing up and down the hallway like trying to burn off some steam don't think it helped anyways um, I know the thing about fudge is you have to have things like ready to go so here I am getting things ready to go getting them situated yada yada and I realize I'm like Paige if you keep going the fudge will be made before you turn the camera on so I did take a pause so far we have this parchment paper thing lined ready to go with some butter so that way there's no stickage up in this kitchen no -uh, honey boo boo child no stickage then we also have some sugar measured out I am actually using the Nestle recipe here this is their Nestle tool house famous fudge and I thought like why not I have Nestle everything else and we all know that Nestle tool house is the best uh, recipe out there if you don't watch friends you don't know what I'm saying I feel bad for you okay so we have the sugar measured out two-thirds of a cup of the evaporated milk right here which I should probably measure that out it says here it's a five fluid ounce can yeah this is 12 fluid ounces so we don't need all of that let's find ourselves a measuring cup so I was also going to tell you guys a little story while I was doing all of this how much of this did I need uh, two thirds of a cup. Wow. I'm this whole measuring cup for this tiny little bit way down here. Um, anyways, so I wanted to tell you guys a story cause I think it's a little funny. The last time I made fudge and it was chocolate fudge. It's the first and only time I've ever made it by the way, it turned out so good, but I made it, um, for my boss at the time. So I worked in a coffee shop at a place where there was like multiple locations. So I had like a coffee shop, a gift shop, like this kind of thing, you know, and I worked at this place and my boss, what else did I need to do? Salt, All right? Quarter tisp of salt. Anyways. So I worked at this place and my boss at the time was, um, a mother of one. She was a single mom. She was like super hardworking. She worked a million hours a week at this coffee shop. She was a manager and I just felt like she was super undervalued. She was a really, really sweet woman. I was 19 and I thought like I was raised in a house where like, if you think someone needs appreciation, like you show them, you know, you just, you show appreciation for people, especially if you feel like they're being overlooked. And so me bright eyed, bushy, like 19 year old I was trying to be sweet for Christmas I made her because she was talking about how she's like oh my mom passed away my mom used to make this really good like chocolate walnut fudge walnut chocolate whatever it was fudge and it was her favorite kind of fudge so I made it for her I made this big double batch and I took it in and she had like tears in her eyes she said oh my god this is so good thank you so much like she loved it however 
everyone else I worked with thought I was a brown nosing piece of shit who I was like trying to get a raise. Keeping in mind, I was 19 going to college. I don't care about your theatrics. Like I don't care about your life. I'm just trying to like be a nice person. I'm not over here like bucking for a raise. She's not even the boss that's in charge of that. And I don't care. I was genuinely just trying to be a nice person. Well, I also went ahead. I bought that for her. And then I had another manager and it was kind of a joke. But for him, long story short, I bought a box of chocolates and I gave those to him. And it was kind of like a joke. Ha ha store bought it was meant to be a joke but like a sweet kind of you know gesture joke so i gave them these gifts well all of my co-workers from that moment on called me like a brown noser they were so rude to me and i'm just like if that's all it takes to intimidate you and make you a worse person is by me being a decent person I guess I didn't have much work to do in the beginning, did I? Because you were already pretty shitty. So anyways, that's my memory of fudge is like I totally made my boss's like whole year. She was so excited. Her son loved it. And then like I turn around and I got mocked and made fun of and ridiculed for the next like two or three years. So I always remember that story and I'm always like, you know what? Was it worth it? Yes, because the look on her face was priceless. But like, oh, I could have just flicked those fucking people. You know what I mean? Like those people that you're just like, why? Why can't somebody else be happy for like 10 minutes? Why does it bother you so much? You know what I mean? Like, come on, people. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole is the moral of my story. All right. So what's next here? Two tablespoons of butter or margarine. I'm sorry, margarine? No, thank you. Butter. Two tablespoons. What else do I need to do here? Okay. So I have that cut, that cut, two cups of mini marshmallows. Sure, bam. All right. Let's do it. You know, it would have been handy, pages if you wouldn't have wasted the two cup measuring cup on two thirds of a cup of milk. <laughs> Good call. Okay, so it's claiming both of these are one cup. These do not both look like they're the same. Like, see what I'm talking about? Like, I don't know. Can you have too many marshmallows? Guys, I'm starting to bake like the Try Guys when they bake and they're like, is this too much? I better add some more. Like, no, bitch, it's not. It's too much. It's too much. But like, here I am doing the same thing. I'm like, um, does anybody mind if there's like 10 extra marshmallows? nobody minds it's okay uh, they're mini hello look at how innocent these look do these not look innocent such cute little marshmallows okay bitch if you eat them you're gonna run out okay this one was on the stove fair game wasn't in a cup and look at this new design packaging hi nestle love your packaging it's like all kind of different has different look a different feel i'm feeling sleek i'm feeling sophisticated i'm feeling like i better tear these open guys i love chocolate chips oh yes bitch okay how much of this did I need? One and a half cups of chocolate morsels. Okay. One and a half cups. Oh, you better get the hell out that hole. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> What's the rule, guys? Even if you're not making cookies, you still have to try the chocolate chips. Make sure they're good. Wouldn't want to ruin a perfectly good recipe. One tisp vanilla extract. Excuse me, vanilla. Bitch, where you at? <laughs> Guys, I just walked away and then came back. And as I'm approaching this area, there's just a sea of mini marshmallows all over the floor. <laughs> I wonder where I've been baking. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to throw out there real quick. There was also a big mess of marshmallows on the floor because somebody, I'm not gonna mention any names, might have been throwing them in the air and trying to catch them in her mouth. <laughs> when I got done baking. So the pile that was on the floor became larger when I was done. Um, hence the thumbnail of me being so excited because I finally caught one in my mouth. I was pretty excited about it. So not only was there this mess, but then there was another mess that came later. So yeah, just thought I'd inform you. I had no reason to. I just, I just thought you should know. That's why that picture's in the thumbnail and I was pretty proud of it. So go me. Okay, back to the video. So we have the thingamajig lined with parchment paper. So the next step is combine sugar, evaporated milk, butter, and salt in a medium heavy duty saucepan, which I have right here. Okay. And then bring to a full rolling boil over medium heat, stirring constantly. Boil, stirring constantly for four to five minutes, remove from heat. Okay. So bring to a full rolling boil and then continue to stir but then that whole time keep stirring for four to five minutes got it then at that point you're gonna stir in the mini marshmallows the morsels the nuts which ugh, no nuts and vanilla extract serve vigorous stir vigorously for one minute vigorously we're just gonna get in there and fucking stir or until marshmallows are melted pour into prepared baking refrigerate for two hours or until firm lift from pan remove and then cut into 48 pieces 
<laughs> I'm sorry, what size of diet ass fudge are you eating? In my world, those are this big. I don't know what kind of fudge you're eating. Whether, what are they, like fucking this big? No, thank you. Bitch, stop. We are not on a diet this Christmas holiday season. We are eating our fudge in big pieces. Why? Because it's delicious. All right. Um, for milk chocolate fudge, substitute milk morsels for... Oh, shit. Wait, which one am I using? I probably should have read that. I am using milk chocolate morsels. What did they want me to use? Oh, they wanted me to use semi-sweet. Holy crap, am I glad I read that. For milk chocolate fudge, substitute one and three-quarter cup Nestle Toll House milk chocolate morsels for semi-sweet. Oh, so I actually need a little more, don't I? Because the original called for one and a half semi-sweet, but I need one and three-quarter if I'm using milk chocolate. Wow, guys, that could have been a freaking cat catastrophe. Oh, and I just tried to pour out of the side that's not cut. So clearly I'm exhausted, which let's be fair here. I really am quite exhausted. I haven't slept in what feels like a year and a half. Is that too many? Did I just pull four, like 600 in there? Like, hello? I think I did. Okay, let's take a couple out. <laughs> okay, whoops. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to fall out on the stove, you might as well fall in my mouth. You know what I'm talking about? P.S. I was over by like a quarter cup. It was a pretty solid situation. Oh my God, a chocolate chip morsel. Ha, huh. sitting on the counter. Whatever will I do? I'll fucking eat it. That's what I'll do. Why are you giving me calories and trying to bring my life down? Excuse me, nutritional facts. No. Evaporated milk. You guys, I love these rubber spatula things. I will do anything to use these. Like, I could be making anything. Mac and cheese, I'm using one of these. Like, stir fry, I'm using one of these. Fudge, this, cookie. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, give me my rubber spatula and don't fuck with me. Like, I want this. It's my life. All right. So, didn't turn the actual burner on, so that's cool. So, guys, what's new? What's happening? How's it going? I'm just stirring over here. I was going to turn the angle of the pot down and just, like, let you guys watch me stir, but I'm like, <laughs> boring. I could just talk to you. So... Hi. Um, I'm pretty excited. So today is Christmas Eve Eve, which is my parents' anniversary. So happy anniversary, mom and dad. I am 29, so they have been married for 27 years. They got married when I was two years old, and they are just the cutest little parents in the whole world. You guys know and love them, so that's exciting. And then that means tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So let's talk about Christmas Eve, shall we? P.S. Guys, okay, I don't know what the deal is, but why does Christmas time and like Christmas season and what's supposed to be, oh, I gotta stir. See what I'm talking about? I, I forget to stir. This is supposed to be the most magical, like, love me some Jesus time of year. And it brings out the biggest assholes I have ever met in my life. Um, excuse me, weather. Excuse me, sir. Do not talk to me. It was the weather channel telling me like, guess what? It's gonna snow. No shit, bitch. It's winter. So let's talk. I'm at the store assholes i'm talking to the cashiers because you know the cashiers are humans and guess what they're like everybody's been an asshole i actually had one lady tell me she said thank you so much you are the only person that's talked to me like i was a person today i'm like wait what like and i thought i was like oh did you just get here and i'm thinking like okay maybe maybe she just had like a rough start she goes oh no i've been here for nine hours and i still have a couple more i'm on a double and i was like i'm sorry wait back up you've been here nine hours and you've i'm the first person that's been nice to you i was like that's because people are dicks and i told her i said look i'm really sorry that the world has failed you and that everyone else is a piece of shit because i'm not that great of a person and if i'm the best that you get i will make it as joyful as i can for you so i was like witty and i tried to just like make her laugh and kind of you know I guess make her happy a little bit but I was like so disheartened by that I'm like why why are people dicks what is the point of that like don't be that person also I think the holiday season just brings out I'm just gonna be honest it brings out the worst drivers what is going on why can nobody drive it's like one fleck of snow guess what we're dumb we don't know how to not drive 10 feet without hitting our brakes I'm like what is happening in my life right now like you guys being out on the road it's like this time of year it's rough. It's rough in these woods, man. I can't. And I'm in northern Michigan. Like, I have, what, a 20th of the traffic that, like, a Californian or whatever states, other states have lots of people. I don't know. Northern Michigan, we're very sheltered people. And, like, I don't, I don't get out ever. So, I don't know. But I'm assuming other places have a lot more traffic. So, I can't imagine being one of those places that has a shit ton of traffic. That's disgusting. Dude, where's my Diet Coke at? I'm already getting thirsty. I've been stirring over this pot for, like, 10 minutes now. Mmm. Oh yeah, Diet Coke. That's my bitch, yo. So bring to a full rolling boil. Is this a full rolling boil? I'm gonna call this full rolling because it's got all the bubbles on the outside. So, okay. 
I'm marking the time in my head now but it says four to five minutes why are you giving me such a fucking why are you giving me such a large window that's a minute a minute is too large of a window okay I'm, I'm starting to panic can you tell I literally just say I'm starting to panic and then my camera shuts off so that's cool all right so I'm just working on removing everything from this side of the stove because I just saw that it said and I quote um remove from heat after four to five minutes of a full rolling boil so I'm gonna actually be able to do that now I couldn't have done that 20 seconds ago Whew, girl I'm getting nervous I get nervous so one time every time I bake in a pan like this I get very apprehensive because when I was younger I tried to make no bake cookies and it was so bad that my mom had to soak the pan for like a month and it was one of our really really good pans so she was like not about ready to throw that out and it had to soak and rinse and scrub and soak and rinse and scrub and I'm not exaggerating, a month later, the pan was able to be cleaned. So anytime I make something that has the potential of ruining a pan, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I get real nervous. But I think this is going well so far. I don't know what it's supposed to look like because I don't remember. But I'm just stirring it like it said, and I'm trying not to panic, okay? So in an effort of this thing, not of me not panicking at this, let's talk about this um, Sisters Apparel for a second. So, guys, you know, I try really hard to be, like, mature and all of that. But I was obnoxious excited about this hoodie and like the sweatpants that I ordered as well but here's my thing I had like a serious I was ageist toward myself I was like girl you're too old like you're going to be 30 going to be you're going to be 30 years old you don't need no sisters apparel hoodie blah 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 and I felt so stupid because I wanted one so so bad and I really wanted this one with like the the colored graphic right there and so I felt kind of dumb and whatever and my mom was like Paige you shouldn't feel dumb like you want it your age doesn't matter like why do you like him? And I said, well, I love his artistic ability. He's super, super, like the way that he views photos and, and the way that he handles himself as like a businessman. I just have so much respect for him in general, whether it's in the community, as a human, whatever the case is. I just love how he presents himself as a 19 year old. I feel like we're very similar in that. I've always been like more mature, I guess you could say for my age. Clearly I'm like 75 now, but okay. It's been um, three minutes. Okay. So four to five minutes, we're going to five minutes I believe because my mom said it's always best to go that little bit longer as long as it doesn't smell burned so and it's smelling by the way real nice so we're good anyways so I was kind of apprehensive about this whole hoodie situation and just like feeling old in general and um my mom was like that's stupid like what would you tell me if I wanted that hoodie and I was I was like I'd tell you like we'll get it for you obviously you should have that if you want it and she's like then it doesn't matter Paige like age is literally a number and that has no bearing on the respect you have for him as as a creator and as an influencer or whatever that just has no bearing and I was like all right you know you're you're right I guess and I just I don't know you know what I'm talking about how sometimes you just feel silly for liking what you like sometimes and I think part of it too is I'm always super what's the word I'm always very like insecure about the fact that I know I'm not like as traditionally talented as somebody like him is like yes I can put on eyeshadow I can put on foundation I can do all of that but he's just so talented and I'm like oh god like I don't want people to think that I think I'm as good as him or whatever I don't know I just think I get wrapped up in my own head I think is the moral of the story so I had to like get over that before my hoodie got here and then when it got here I was like ah! I totally geeked I was so excited okay so five minutes we're killing the heat and then it said remove from heat boop we are removing okay stir in marshmallow morsels nuts and vanilla so stir in marshmallows one cup and two cup and then mat no what are these morsels oh my god i couldn't think of what they were called morsels stir okay we're just gonna let that heat kind of do its thing for like one second while i grab the vanilla now what's the general rule here vanilla is not a science so if we add a little extra it's okay because your girl loves vanilla i love vanilla anytime i'm baking with chocolate i just feel like they complement the flavors so perfectly oh and it smells like i just spilled it on my hands it smells amazing okay what happens next i should have i should have read this Okay, so stir vigorously for one minute or until marshmallows are melted. Okay, so I should probably be stirring vigorously. That's what I should be doing. I legit almost just hit myself with stirring lava marshmallows just now. That was hotter than shit. Okay. Okay, so now if it's all stirred, now it just goes into that, right? Okay. 
It's going to be a little bit marbled with marshmallows. Marshmallows. But I think that that's all right, right? I don't know. So we're just going to plop this in here. This looks like fudge. All right, this could work. I could see this working out like kind of like fudge. All right. All right, now we press it down. Press it down, make it round. Yes, bitch. Get in there. Yum. Mm-hmm. A little bit of what's on here. Okay. Maybe if we could have a piece, though, that doesn't burn my finger, that would be great, Paige. That would be so delicious. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That kind of, that's delicious. And I'm pretty sure it's going to taste even better. Okay. I'm going to pop this in the fridge. It said for two hours or until firm. I'm going to pop this in the fridge. And, oh, you guys might want to see what it looks like. Hello, fudge. How you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm really tired. I'm going to pop this in the fridge. And uh, we're going to stop back on together. And we're going to have a bite. As soon as, uh, girl, she's hardened and ready to go. Oh, hi, guys. So, cut into the fudge. Pretty freaking good. Really good consistency. Never have I had milk chocolate fudge before. But this is delicious. And I don't think you can see it. But it has like that perfect, okay, get my face out of there. Focus on the fudge. Hello. There you go. It has like the perfect, like almost crumbly looking fudge appeal. I broke that piece off. That's why it looks all like jagged. But it has like the perfect texture to it. So it doesn't feel super gritty in your mouth. But it's also not so gooey that when you're trying to like pick it up, it like dents. You know what I'm talking about? How sometimes, my mom and I were talking about this. Sometimes when you make fudge, it's either really grainy and it's like overly processed or it's like under processed and it's gooey to where when you pick it up, it like indents and it's more like a caramel than it is like fudge. This is the perfect in-between spot. And I actually quite like it. I was, I didn't think I would like a milk chocolate fudge because I thought it would be too like potent which this definitely is on the like very rich side but i have to be honest a pretty good like pretty pretty good i think i might try my hand at another fudge here very soon i'll let you guys know how it goes oh by the way i will have the recipe for this one linked down below um just in case y'all want to try it but hello hi mm, yes guys mm -hmm. okay so oh there's see <laughs> there's a chunk of marshmallow that wasn't <laughs> mixed all the way my bad so guys, this is, this is my knife. I'm going to cut that chunk out and eat it because it's marshmallow. I am. You guys, that is it for today's video. I know it's super random, but I hope you guys all have such a fantastic Merry Christmas. I'm not sure if there will be a video up tomorrow or not just because um, life. But if there is, I will see you tomorrow. And if not, I will see you the day after Christmas. And either way, I hope that you guys have a fantastic, fantabulous holiday. And I will see you very, very soon. Please don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe down below. We put up videos five days a week over here. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time. And you can also check out my Instagram and my Twitter, which are linked down below. And I think that that's it. Me, this knife, and this fudge, we have a date. I'm going to get to cutting and probably munching and then giving myself a stomach ache because, like, who doesn't do that when they make fudge? And I will check in with you guys on my next video. Bye.